Christmas is a season of joy and warmth. It is a special time when many of us come together in a spirit of community, caring, giving, and celebration. Christmas time gives us an opportunity for introspection and reflection on the year gone. This year has been an extremely transformational year for my ministry. Firstly, we have embarked on the spot infrastructure strategy in order to provide facilities of international standards for our people to excel in major sporting disciplines. Our vision is for sports to become an industry, a major income earner that will provide sustainable livelihoods and a good quality of life for young athletes. I want to pause and salute our athletes who continue to excel and make this nation proud. Our work has started at the Sufre Stadium and it is our hope that the communities of Deriso, Miku and Denry will benefit from major upgrades that will redefine the role of sports in our communities. I wish to thank all athletes and the residents of these communities affected by the ongoing works for your spirit of endurance. It is our hope that next year you will enjoy the improved standards which lend to greater progress in sports development. My ministry partnered with the Ministry of Education and opened the St. Lucia Sports Academy in October this year. This educational institution was established to provide athletes with an avenue to develop a sporting career as well as a good academic pursuit. I am thankful for the dialogue and consultation with the sporting federations associations, and together we have recorded some achievements. However, I look forward to continuing the work with which we have started in the new year. A lot has to change in terms of structure. In the area of youth development, we have made some remarkable headways. My ministry aimed to professionalize youth work as advocated by the Commonwealth Youth Program. To date, we have 18 youth workers across the island that are instrumental in ensuring young people fulfill their potential and become assets to our nation. Another initiative of the youth development is the Youth Service Corps. The Service Corps provides young people with an opportunity to volunteer at an institution or organization where capacity is needed for at least one year. I am truly appreciative of the overwhelming response received from the young people to the Youth Service Corps. We, learn, we launched a mentorship program earlier this year, which mainly targeted secondary school students from Miku to Swazil. We have reached almost 50 mentees along with their households. We know that work is sacrificial and cannot be paid in money. However, the work, at that, the work that mentors do is absolutely essential for young people to have stability and guided decision making. This year has brought along successes challenges, and tragedies. However, by the grace of God, we were able to persevere. During this time, I pray especially that God grants us comfort and strength to families who suffered the loss of loved ones. Let us hope that the season brings with it the joy and peace of Christ. To my beloved constituents of Denry South, I would like to use this opportunity to give you the assurance that early in the new year, works will commence to rehabilitate and restructure the Denry Fishing Complex. This is so necessary for our food security and safety. Also in the new year, work will commence on the Farm Road Rehabilitation Project, the Denry Civic Center and the Recording Studio, as well as the Lakai and Lime Parks. In the new fiscal year, the issue of flooding in the village will be addressed after which work will begin on our long-awaited field project and roadworks will continue in Lakai, Lime, and Denry Village. On behalf of the government of St. Lucia, I would like to wish all citizens a Merry Christmas and a peaceful and prosperous New Year. Let us move into 2020 with a spirit of love, forgiveness, and reconciliation. Merry Christmas, everyone.